Derek Reed in my mom's helicopter. Yes way. Yeah, Heli's skiing up on the mountain. Right, like, out of all places here. No, it is Christmas. I insist. I can absolutely do it myself. I fly that route all the time. No. Hey, can someone answer the door? Oh. I can't believe it. Jennifer! What? The door. I gotta go. My rodent of a brother isn't old enough to answer the door. I don't know who the kid is, but apparently he's a big deal. Jennifer can barely contain herself. No! Rudy! I'm kind of busy up here. Rudy! A little help here. Calm down. It's okay. Oh. Oh. Hey, who is it? No, quit it. It's a gift. Well, say thank you. It's heavy. Maybe it's my dragon of the crown expansion set. It's probably another fruitcake. And you have a Merry Christmas. Thanks. Fred? John! I see you still haven't fixed the town clock. Well, what can I say? Time got away on me. Yeah, well, you and me both. You think we're gonna have a white Christmas? No snow. Weird, huh? Gifts are all packed up. Some of them uh, still aren't wrapped yet. Right. That's great. Beth will be thrilled. It sure is nice that she commits to doing this every year. I guess there are people who need a lot more than we do. We're lucky here, Fred. That we are, that we are. But did that game come in that I ordered for Rudy? I was kind of hoping he'd have it for a stocking stuffer. Dragon of the Crown expansion set. Still on back order, I'm afraid. I don't have high hopes of it being here for the holiday. That's the worst problem I have in my house this Christmas, then I'm better off than most. You got that right. All right. My regards to the family. Yeah, will do. What about headwinds? What about flight range? I know it's a lot of weight to fly that far, but we can't let them down. It's tough over there. A lot of families are counting on the help. Yeah, I know, but uh, Lawrenceville's a ways away. No, we got the room, and yes, the forecast looks fine, so quit worrying. What's this? That's the one I was telling you about. Someone must have dropped it off this afternoon. No name, no address. Hmm. No name, no address. Hey, maybe it was for Lawrenceville. No, it's not marked for that, and all of those went to Fred's store. It's from Santa. Santa brings gifts down the chimney, stupid. Hey! I think we should open it. The two of you, honestly. What do you think it is? I think maybe it's a set of golf clubs. Mm -hmm. Dad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Mom. Yes? Do you think you're gonna need any help tomorrow with the helicopter and stuff? Yeah, I think I got it covered, honey. You said Tim wasn't going with you. Please, Mom, come on. Go, for crying out loud, just open it. with that dog today. Wow. That is cool. Yeah. It's so gorgeous. Boring. No, 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 no. Come on, look at the craftsmanship in this thing. There's Main Street. There's Town Hall. The clock on the tower is stuck on the same time as the real clock. I'll get it. Pizza's here.
everybody on the street! Move, move! Come on, let's go, move! We did. Yeah, I'll be right there. Something happened downtown. Okay. I'll call you. Yeah. No one come any closer. You don't want to be near this thing if there's another aftershock. Tully. John. Over here. So, we got lucky. All right, let's get those fires out and cordon this off. I got some rope in my trunk. <laughs> oh my god, I think that's shaking. <laughs> sleep. Sweetheart, I have a really early morning. Your dad's gonna be busy all day tomorrow. We all need our rest, okay? Okay. Mo, come on. Come on, boy. Come on. I love you. Love you, too. Rudy's still in bed, lazy bum. Yeah, he was up past midnight. Well, let him sleep. Mary will be by to look after him. So much for good weather. It'll be fine. We do this a dozen times a year. Uh, I guess you should go. Kitchen Lawrence will be disappointed if you didn't show up. And I'm gonna let Jacob's brother know. What about Jacob? Wow, look at you helping. Can a daughter just help her mother once in a while? Mom, I'm begging you, it's Derek Reed. He's a client. I'll be good, I promise. And besides, I can help with dropping off the gifts afterwards. Please. Who's Derek Reed? Only the best snowboarder ever. Ah, wow, well, best ever, Beth. Hmm. Where I am going, it's very remote, and I have a very strict schedule. Oh, without Tim, you are solo. Right? <laughs> Get your coat. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, I love you. Uh -huh. Hey, how about a little love over here? I'm the one who made it happen. Hey, listen, uh, that gift you got your brother, that was nice of you. Did Fred make that? Dad, I, I didn't get that gift. But if you want, I'll take the credit. All right. You be safe. You be safe. Mistletoe. <laughs> Wait. No mistletoe. Ew, gross. See you soon. Get in the car. Did you break last night? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Hey, Rudy! 
Hey, Mr. M. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Thanks for the last minute help. Dad, I want to see where the ground broke. It's too dangerous right now, buddy. How do you know the ground broke anyway, Mr. Big Ears? I, I saw it in the snow globe. In the snow globe? Really? Yeah. I'll have to check that out when I get back. Bye, Mr. M. Hey, no sneaking a look at the gifts under the tree. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. <laughs> excited. When they get here, I want you to be extremely professional. What's that supposed to mean? No ogling, no drooling. Mom, really? They're here! Derek Reed. Pleasure. Hey, I'm Greg. Hi, hello. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. This is uh, this is my assistant, Jennifer. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, indeed. So, are you guys looking for anything in particular? Ah, oh, you know, just some choice powder, a good incline. Yeah, you know the mound better than we do. All right, let's get you guys loaded up and uh, stop wasting daylight. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Hey, okay. do you need help with your stuff? Uh, yeah, that would be great. Actually, actually, I need you to do a final rundown on the engine. Hey, no sweat. Yeah, we can handle it. <laughs> what? I wasn't Oakley. No, you were flirting, which is way worse than oh, Oakley. No, what did I say? Tully. Hey. Coffee fresh? Fresh, yes. Good. That's another story. Filled in most of the smaller ones, roped off the larger one for now. So, where are we at with damage? Well, the gas mains are intact, which is surprising considering the flames everyone mentioned. Maybe a natural gas pocket. What about Grainer and Lawrenceville? Yeah, nothing. They didn't even know we had a tremor. Even in Grainer? As far as anyone outside of town knows, that earthquake never even happened. That's impossible. I know, it's strange, huh? <sighs> Come on, let's get this cleaned up. All right. Check out. What? You don't know anything about helicopters, do you? No. She's your mom, isn't she? <laughs> hey, do you want me to sign something? Yeah. Talking about this is what we came here for. All right, man. Good. Yeah. 
What's up, boys and girls? We're fresh out of reindeer, but Santa's always got his sleigh. Okay? That's fantastic. All right, dude. Let's do this. push one of the buttons. All right, well, you can play with that later. Your snack's ready. But I'm here. Come on. Soup's getting cold. Let's go. Anything Santa can bring you that will top that. Mm, best Christmas ever. What was that? Just a little wind. We're okay. Okay, that is a hell of a storefront. We will turn right around. Christmas Eve, John. We've always had carols. It's tradition. Now's not the time. Hey, I feel terrible about what happened to Jacob. But you know how much he loved this time of year. I wouldn't get between this man and his decorations if I were you, John. I think this town should just carry on in the Christmas spirit. Hey, Fred. You fixed it. Fixed what? Fuck. You got it going. Impossible. I haven't touched it. Yeah, it's working now. Oh, you don't understand. I took the guts out years ago. They're in my shop. It can't work. Whoa. What the hell is that? Anything like that before? No. Jennifer, come in. Jenny, can you hear me? Come in. Go, 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 go. I got this. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that good? That was great. Perfect, man. Good, man. What? What 
Charter November 101, come in. Beth, can you hear me? Are still alive. Larry, don't move! The 
tires are the only thing that are keeping the bus from being grounded. What the hell does that mean? He's saying unless you want to get lit up like a Christmas tree, stop trying to get off. Is he serious? Easy, Tully. You're scaring him. You shut up, Norm. Deep breaths, Larry. Relax there, big fella. I'll take care of this. You help the others. Don't move. I know you don't need Tully to be scared. You listen here, jackass. No. Oh, no. Hey, hey. OK, sorry, but just take it easy. Take it easy. I'll get some help. Tully! Yeah. Stay there. Stay there. Stay. Norm's hurt. Real bad. OK, just stay calm. I'll get you something for Norm. They're coming, buddy. Just hang on. Hang on, buddy. They're coming. You should I you put your feet up? I just, all right, just breathe. Just breathe, right? Just like that, it's over. Did you talk to my dad yet? I haven't yet, don't worry. Hey, I'm sure your mom canceled her flight. She's probably on her way home right now. Uh, so, which one of these am I supposed to be again? You were in the Knights of Omnia. You've been quested to take the dragon crown and throw it in the volcano. Is that, is that this thing right here? This thing? Don't touch it. Every time you touch it in the game, you lose two life points. I do? It's cursed. Oh. Now, come on. OK, so uh, throw the crown into the volcano. Got it. What else? Are you coming? Yeah. Jen? Jen! Right back, I'm gonna cut you out, okay? Greg? Greg? Over here. Hang on, buddy. Don't mess up, man. I can see that. Hey, 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 look at me, look at me. Don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna fix you up and get you out of here. Leave pork okay. for me. Just a little bit if you can. You all right? Yeah, man, it's all right. Let me put you right up, buddy. Hang on. What uh. kind of man puts as much work into decorating a bus? It's Christmas. It's a special time. Plus, people like it. It's just strange. That's all I'm saying. Larry! 
You sit tight. I'll be right back, Scrooge. Here. Catch. Look, can you get him through the window? If you don't touch the bus on the ground at the same time, I, I think you can jump free. Norm's not exactly in the jumping shape. All right, all right. Just sit tight. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and cut the power lines, okay? Hey, Kelly, Kelly. You know about electricity, right? Guess we're gonna find out. It's not one for pep talks, is he? Ah. Uh, Hang on, buddy. Uh, I got some. Got some stuff here. You're gonna be fine. You just hang on. They're getting us out. You just. This might hurt a little bit. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Put pressure on that. Hang on. Mom, what are you doing? I'm gonna find something to cut you out. Mom, I'm, I'm, I'm cold. You gotta stay calm, baby. you warm, I'm gonna get you out of there. Board down, get up, and come back for me. No, there's no way I'm leaving you up here alone. Okay, that's ready. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I want you to use these. Dig them in like that. Yeah. Nice and deep. Got that? Yeah. Okay. Dude, you better not let me go. You better be nice to me then. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Easy. Nice and slow. Keep digging that in. Yeah. All right. Yeah. To go. Honey, I, I think I need to lie down. No, no, no. You gotta keep moving, okay? We gotta keep the core temperature up. Sit up for me. I can't. Sit up at least. Sit up, baby. You're gonna make me carry you, huh? You're gonna make me carry you? What is that? What was that? Mom, what was that?
Okay. You guys set? Yeah. Set. Listen, we're gonna go right past that crash site. I hope they're okay. I'm not sure if we've got any extra room on this board to share. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Nice and easy. Okay. Okay, Tully. Shouldn't be too hard. Ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, plan B. Did Tully get the power off? I don't know. Uh, go stick a toe on the ground. I'm sure the shock won't be that bad. I'm sure you'd like that, eh? <laughs> Stick with me, Norm. Norm, Norm, stick with me, buddy. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure Tully knows what he's doing. Okay, uh, here goes nothing. Mayday, mayday, search and rescue, come in. Can anyone hear me? We got a chopper down on Mount Thalberg. Two males missing. If anyone's out there, come in. You're gonna be all right. Mayday, mayday! Still no one. happen. What? Bad things that happen in there happen out here. And let me guess, if I touch it, I lose two life points, right? I'm serious. Mo doesn't like it either. <laughs> Mo doesn't like anything that isn't food. <laughs> what are these buttons on the back Don't do? press any. It's cursed. Rudy, I didn't. It's okay, you see? Press the button. No, you said her gears are turning. I, I didn't. I, I swear it happened on its own. <coughs> the buttons on the globe, they make bad things happen. Okay, Rudy, you're starting to freak me out here. <coughs> Mo! Oh. Stay here. I, I think I left the door open. So long.
Hey, do you smell gas? Come on, Norman. We're getting out of here. What are you doing? We gotta go. Come on. Let's go. Ah, ah, okay. Ah, okay. Ah. All right. Easy. Easy. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Don't patronize me. What's happening? All right. Look, if we can smell gas in here this strong, it means there's gotta be a lot of it on the ground, so we gotta. Sit right here. Hang on. Cowboy up, Norm, we're leaving. Did they get the power off? I don't know, but we're leaving. Wait. Larry. Larry. Larry, John! Larry! Larry, what are you doing? The power's not on! Please! Jenny, okay? Jenny? No, we're buried alive. Stay calm. Tony, can you hear me? Can anyone hear me? If anyone's out there, come back. We need to get out of here. Yeah, I know. I still want to send us farther down the mountain. OK. Hold on. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Come on! Come on! Please, please, please. Oh, damn it! and look for him. Rudy? 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 Kidding me. That was no normal storm. I was thinking the same thing. Dad? These windows aren't gonna hold. Hello? Did you hear that? Anyone? It sounds like Derek. Jen! Get to our <laughs> Come on, guys. Derek! Derek! Uh, I'm gonna get you out. Hold on! Fine. It's like nobody can even hear us. How is that possible? I have no idea. Emergency team should have been here hours ago. It's like it's like the whole town just dropped off the map. 
So what are you gonna do? I'm hoping I wake up. <laughs> I'll get more supplies. This is Tully in the town hall of Normal, Alaska. If you're receiving this, please acknowledge. Over. about Rudy. Mary's a smart girl. I'm sure Rudy will be fine. Come on. We're almost there. guys. Come on. Let's go. Mayday, Mayday. This is Tully from the town of Normal, Alaska. Is there anybody out there? Please respond. Mayday, Mayday. Please acknowledge. If anyone is out there, please acknowledge. Over. Jennifer and Beth okay? They're both a bit banged up. We got a casualty on the mountain. We need you in town. How quickly can you get here? We gotta check on Rudy and then I'll be there. Okay, hurry. Okay, just sit tight, okay? Okay. Sit tight. Sitting tight. Just tell us what happened. Mo ran away, and I went to look for him for like two seconds, and then when I came back, Rudy was just gone, and he left me this note. It's all my fault. What was? What was all his fault? I, I don't know. He was, I was talking about a snow globe. I, I tried to tell him it was all nonsense, but he wouldn't listen. He's alone. Can't have gone far. Come on. We should split up. No way. We are sticking together. No, you guys keep going that way. I'm gonna head over to Maple Road. He's got a little hideout over there. It makes sense, you know it does. Yeah, I'll go with her. Okay, you're with me. Whatever happens, meet back at town hall. Well, I'm coming too. Mary, you should go back to your family. No, I'm going. It's my fault. I'm gonna help find her. Why is he blaming himself? What does any of this have to do with him? He's got a very active imagination. What was Mary saying about the snow globe? Well, this morning Rudy said there was a crack in the globe, just like there was in town. You think he imagined that? I don't know. It sounds crazy, but he was right. I mean, he had to know somehow. God, I hope he's okay. Rudy! Rudy! So this hideout that your brother's got, what is it? It used to be an old mine access. But if you ask Rudy, it's his magic fortress. You know, from that silly dragon of the crown. Oh, what are you yeah. talking about? That game rocks. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Throw the crown of the volcano, kill the dragon. <laughs> I grew up on that game. I guess my little bro isn't as much of a dork after all. Rudy! Rudy! Derek, 
Are you okay? You know that Greg was the closest thing I had to a brother? I mean, what's going on? How could any of this be happening? You saved our entire family today, Derek. I wouldn't be alive if it weren't for you. No one would have been on that mountain if it weren't for me. No, if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't have ever gotten off that mountain. You saved us. Okay. What are you doing here? I'm looking for you. Okay, what can I do for you? Did, did you make this? No. Just where'd you get this? It came as a secret gift. My dad thought he made it. Me? First time seeing it. Everything that happens inside here happens for real. Is that right? You don't believe me? No, no, it's just that... One left. So look. Rudy! Rudy! I don't think he's here, Jennifer. I'll tell you what, we'll hang out for a bit. Maybe he'll show up. Dragon of the Crown. The Crown, it's cursed. So you think the snow globe is cursed? Or maybe the globe cursed the town? Yeah. And it's my fault because I opened the present. Oh, Rudy. There are a lot of myths about cursed objects. Sometimes the curse is a punishment, sometimes the curse is a test, but I mean, even if this is a curse, it's not your fault. So you do believe me? Well, there's certainly a lot of things here I can't explain, but the idea that this globe is somehow destroying our town, it's just... I mean, there's no markings, there's no serial number, there's certainly no made in China. Well, I don't know about a curse, but this is certainly the strangest thing that I have ever seen. Mayday, Mayday. If anyone can hear this, please respond. If somebody heard you, they'd be here by now. Larry, I'm, I'm trying my best here. Look, Tully. Whatever is going on is going to drag this town straight to hell before it's done. Okay, Larry, you're scaring the people. Look, we got to get out of here now. I understand that, Larry, but we can't really leave right now until we get some assistance. Now, everybody. John, you got a hell of a mess on your hands here. You can say that again. Rudy's gone. He ran away. Has anyone seen him? Have you talked to Fred? Last time I saw him, he said he was getting supplies at a shop. 
You okay, Larry? I had better days, John. Calm down, everybody, all right? We can't just sit around and wait. No help is coming. Ready? Hi. We're worried about you, buddy. You're scaring us. Oh, thank you, Fred. Would you tell me where you got this? I thought it was you. You. It was left at our door. Why? Oh, hell of a thing. Anybody answer? Phones are still dead. What is that? Found inside. Official dragon of the crown issue. Face a dragon without this bad boy? You can forget about it. Of course. Hey, it's gonna be fine. Rudy? I saw it. Rudy's right. I can't quite believe I'm saying this, but somehow what's happening in there is happening out here. It's not possible. Neither about half the things we've seen in town today. You got that right. John! The townsfolk are getting antsy and they're looking for answers. Please tell me you got some. John, I think you should hear what your son has to tell you. Don't worry about Jen. Yeah, she should have been here right now. You stay here with Rudy. I'll go look for her. It'll be a nice change from town hall. Rudy, what happened? A toy? Kids' toys, what we're talking about? This is no ordinary toy. Just listen to what we have to say, Larry. No, you listen up, John. We got a lot of dead friends and family. Town's coming apart at the seams. What does a damn snow globe have to do with anything? Everything. Look. We've all known each other for a long time. You just have to trust me when I tell you. Everything that's happened in this town can be traced back to this. It's true. It's true. Now, ever since this thing was placed at our doorstep, we've had one disaster after another. Every time one of these buttons is pressed, another disaster hits. And who told you that? My son. <laughs> Look, if pressing buttons causes disasters, then don't push any damn buttons. It's not that simple. Have you looked at the town clock today? It's ticking. Huh? Yeah, well, clocks will do that, John. Not this one. You all know, I took that thing apart years ago. There are no gears inside that clock. And yet, there it is, taken away. And it's got the exact same time on it as a clock inside this globe. It's got to mean something. I think it's a countdown. A countdown? A countdown to what? I'm guessing at the top of the hour, another disaster is going to strike, whether we push a button or not. <laughs> yeah. And maybe uh, Santa and his reindeers will come down from the sky. It's all hogwash. <laughs> look out, look out. No, no, Didn't even leave a mark. Here, Larry, Larry, no, 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 come here. I need to talk to you. Mom, you believe me, don't you? Down that sandwich for a second. I believe that that snow globe somehow has something to do with everything that's happening. And I believe that your dad will do anything to keep us safe. But I don't believe for a second that any of this is your fault. 
Yep, and everyone all excited doesn't help anything, Larry. He said that thing just showed up on your doorstep, right? Yeah, that's right. It showed up on my doorstep. No address, no shipping intro. Yeah, then it's your responsibility. You're doing this to us. Come on, Larry. You see what's happening in our town. It's our problem. We're all in this together. No. He's right. What? Okay, hang on here. Let's just say that I'm wrong. What are we going to do? Because if you're right, any minute now, another disaster is going to hit us. Well, let's just hope I'm wrong. Something back there? Rudy? Rudy! You okay? Yeah. Stay calm, Larry. You stay calm, Fred. Guys, everything seems to be fine. Still no sign of Jen. Okay. Look, I came to my house, my family. It's my responsibility. So what are you gonna do with it? I don't know. I'm open to all suggestions. We'll take it someplace else. Another town, if you can. I can't do that. That's not the answer. Throw it into the volcano. What's that, son? In the Dragon of the Crown? The crown that cursed the village needs to be tossed into the volcano. Wait a minute. That's not crazy. Oh, come on. That game is based on an old Greek myth about Hephaestus and Pandora. The gift is just like Pandora's box opened up and all the evils of the world are let loose to wreak havoc. But there's one thing left in the box. What's that got to do with the volcano? Hephaestus made the gift in the bowels of a volcano. The gift must be returned there to destroy it. Oh, come on. Fred, what was the one thing left in the box? Hope. That's right. Hope. Come on, Larry. It isn't any crazier than the things we've seen in town today. I know. Well, show me a volcano then. You didn't wait. We've already got one. Not Thalberg. That's right. Thalberg's becoming active again. She's getting ready to blow. It's not a volcano. Well, it hasn't been active for thousands of years, but it is a volcano. What? Look, you all said it. This is my responsibility. This is what I'm doing. The rest of you have to get everyone out of town. You can't stay here anymore. See, that's the first thing I've heard that makes sense. So, what about you? I'm going back up the mountain. That's or not, Fred. I'm staying. This town is all I've known, and I trust John to save it. You know, it's going to take a miracle to get out of this. Well, wouldn't that be something? Huh. I can't think of a better time of year for a miracle. You're crazier than the rest of them.
some of this. John! Honey, I'm gonna find Jen. I'm gonna take care of the globe. Then I'm gonna come find you. said this was my responsibility, Tully. Yours? This is our town. Our responsibility. We need you down here, Tully. The town needs you. My family needs you. Jenny! Oh, my God. <laughs> Beth, it's Jen! Stay here and take care of your brother. What? Where are you going? I'm gonna go put an end to this. John, wait. My snowmobile, side of the cabin. You hear that? She's waking up. Take care of my family, Tully. You got it. Dad! Every hero needs a talisman. My talisman? Look at me. You're my hero. Dad. Oh. Oh. I love you. Go and take care of your mother. You guys okay? Yeah, we're okay. What about Fred? Fred's not coming just yet, but uh, he's gonna let us use his car. Isn't that nice of him? Yeah, I guess so. Convoy's ready. You better get out of here.
South Road! South Road! It's all part of the curse. There's no curse, Rudy. Yes, there is. Dad's gonna break it. Enough. We are not trapped. We are not giving up. We're gonna make it, and Dad is too, okay? Yeah, we're not. Where are you going? I'm trying to find a way out of here. Why is this happening to us? Why did we end up with this stupid snow globe? Maybe it ended up where it needs to be. What do you mean, little man? Every story needs a hero.
guess I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Oh. Hang on to your hats. This is really gonna be something. John. Well, I'll be damned. An honest to goodness Christmas miracle. Inside. Jennifer's trying to get Rudy to nap, but somehow I don't see that happening. Some incredible kids you got there. Yeah. They really are. Still no sign of them? I'll be back. I know it. Of course. Mo! Mom! Mo! I was worried about you, boy. You okay? Nice work, John. Fred, hell of a Christmas, hey, John? It's another Christmas in one. Come on inside. I 
got some eggnog. That sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> I was already ready. 